The realm of chaos, a dimension of pure magic where gods and demons rule. Here, the living mind rebels against impossible landscapes as gravity, space, and reason refuse to obey physical laws. This ether, given shape and form by the desires, thoughts, and passions of mortals, is the dark arena and battlefield for the Chaos God's great game of supremacy. Kairos Fateweaver has traveled far from the Red Plains and the Grand Bastion. This is the domain of Tsinch, the realm of the sorcerer, sometimes named the Crystal Labyrinth, manifests as iridescent islands and plateaus of looming spires, twisting ridges, and scintillating pathways designed to ensnare, dement, and terrorize any foolish enough to navigate its infinite avenues. Though indeed foolish, Zhao Ming's tenacity has carried him through the trials of the Chaos Wastes and into the realm of the Sorcerer. His impudence and audacity are at once delightful and insulting to Fate Weaver, who turns his army to punish these brazen invaders. Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon, ruler of Western Cathay, possesses an interest in alchemy that borders on the excessive. Decades spent exposed to Warpstone in the name of experimentation has awarded Zhao Ming rich cabals of metal and fire wizards, though may have come at the cost of his mind. Insanity and little else can explain his willing parade into Tsinch's domain. The Iron Dragon wastes little time in beginning his attack, and Kairos Fateweaver is more than happy to allow these fragile mortals to break themselves against his magic. With a twist of his hand, Kairos casts Blue Fire of Tsinch, bathing the approaching fools in unnatural heat. To maintain the battery, he orders his pink horrors and exalted flamers forward to fling their own brands of magic. Fateweaver is no stranger to the black powder machinations of Grand Cathay. Already he has used the jagged crystal outcroppings of the maze to conceal his doom knights and circumvent the bulk of Zhao Ming's forces. With no rear line to protect them, Cathay's artillery is butchered. Now behind the Iron Dragon, Fateweaver's doom knights continue their assault and hammer into the invader's flanks. Unlike his sister, Zhao Ming does not wait long to assume his dragon form and employs his newfound ferocity to overwhelm Fateweaver's loyal Lord of Change. Chaos descends upon the battlefield as all semblance of orderly combat is lost to a vicious fray of bloodlust and magic. Fateweaver keeps at the edge of it all and casts Sinch's Firestorm as a scheme passes between his twin minds, one hoping the plot succeeds, the other knowing it will. Skin rips and limbs are severed as Cathay's masses are mercilessly diced to ribbons. The Iron Dragon is chipped and dented beneath the onslaught of Fate Weaver's magic. He has made a crucial error in venturing into the realm of chaos, and now his headstrong resolve may have cost him his life. Like a marionette, Miao Ying performs her fated role, riding valiantly into the fray to pluck her brother from the jaws of Qian Qi, only to find herself entombed. Xiao Ming cannot withstand the assault. He falls back and allows his sister to fight in his stead. The Storm Dragon fights bravely, but as a flurry of magic descends, obscuring the battlefield, Miao Ying and her army are outmatched by Kairos Fateweaver's superior tactical mastery. The dragon siblings have no choice but to retreat from the battle, their quest for vengeance ultimately fruitless. The Bastion's fall would never be a simple task. Kairos Fateweaver knew this, but with its defenders weakened, Grand Cathay is ripe for the taking.
It will belong to Chi An Chi in time. The machinations and schemes of the Raven God are far reaching indeed. And the defeat of the Dragon Siblings has set in motion a chain of events that will herald the end of all mortal things. Fruition will be a matter of patience, and patience is a virtue that Changer of Ways hoards in abundance.